So hi everyone, hope you're doing really well. Welcome to this video. So the question is, what sort of property should you buy? And if you want the short answer, I'd encourage you to consider three bed terrace properties. And if you'd like the rationale behind it, then feel free to stay tuned. And if you are interested in property investing related content, then hit subscribe and join us. So of course your property selection is going to heavily depend upon the type of tenant that you wish to serve. And for us, we work with family tenants and it's probably helpful that we just share two reasons why we think you should consider working with family tenants. And the first one is family tenants tend to stay the longest amount of time of all residential tenants. Families tend to stay in a property and in an area because of things like their family and their friends, work, schools, and their social activities and the social circles. So a family tends to stay put. And that's good because you see, every time you have a tenant turnover, there are costs associated with that. So if you have a tenant that comes and then goes and comes and goes, that is not gonna be as profitable as someone who comes and stays for five, 10, 15, 20 years. And the second thing is related to the first point. Family tenants tend to regard their tenanted home as their home. They're going to be there for the long term. So they will take care of maintenance. They'll take care of looking after the property, not in all instances, of course, but it won't be surprising if you get into this business, you'll get a call from your lettings agent and say, the tenants reported they'd like to change the toilet seat in the downstairs toilet, is that okay? Sure, go ahead. Or another call might come in a few minutes later, a different property. The tenant thinks the fences need painting. Is it all right if they paint them gray? Sure, go ahead. So because families stay there for the long term, they regard the property as their home. They take care of it and look after it, which is good for you because there's less involvement for you, less involvement for the estate agent, less out there in terms of time, money and effort, and therefore it's more profitable. There are just two reasons why we think we should consider family tenants. The question then is, okay, so if you can look, look after families, then what sort of properties do families need to stay there for the long term? And the answer is three bedroom properties work best. Many families start off in two bedroom properties, but they quickly outgrow them, particularly if they start off in a two bed with just a couple. If children arrive very quickly, a three bed property is what they need. It will come as no surprise that the most common dwelling type in England it are three bed properties. So they just suit families best. So then the question is, well, why terraced? Why not semi-detached or detached? And the answer to that question is related to the first point. If the criteria is the number of bedrooms, then just buy the cheapest three bedroom house that you can get. They happen to be terraced properties. You will pay more for a semi-detached property and you'll pay more again for a detached property. And when you consider that in the context of the rent that those properties will bring in, the rent will not be proportional to the increased house purchase price. So three bedroom properties because they suit families well and terrace property because that's the cheapest type of property that you can buy. The next question is then, well, where do you buy your three bed terrace properties? And I'll answer that in the next video.